treat them and they're off to a bunch of flowers. Well, they make a great subject for macro photography. Okay, today we're using the Nikon D810 36 megapixel FX format camera alongside the Nikkor 60mm 2.8G ED macro lens. And to start with, we're just simply taking images of the flowers in situ actually inside the vase, just turning the vase round to get uh, different viewpoints and different compositions. Camera's on tripod and we're using uh, live view and uh, manual focus to get the compositions. So in this first one we set it to f16 and that's uh, we've got a daisy that's sitting down there amongst the flower stems and the flower stems are a bit of a distraction so it was in this instance it was better to use uh, a lower aperture so f4.8 uh, blurred out the flower, stem, flower stems and put more focus on the actual daisy flower head. So in the final processed image we can see um, we've very much isolated that flower head and put all the, uh, the stems uh, out of focus, looking much more blurred. In the second one we're f16 on this flower and the bigger the flower, um, the aperture um, doesn't make a great deal of difference in the sense that you're not going to get much of the flower in focus, even at f16. So you can see from the process image, we've got quite a, a shallow depth of field, but a nice blur in the background of the flower. Here's another example of two um, apertures being used. So we've got um, f3.5 in this first image. And uh, f16 in this second image. And by using live view, you can see the effect of using the different apertures. So here's your result, f3.5, a nice soft image, still parts of it in focus, but it gives a very soft glow, whereas f16 um, gives much more detail and both pictures have their own um, sort of qualities to look at. Okay, we're back to a daisy uh, now and um, when we process this image we plan to use the rule of thirds, so on camera we're using the magnify button to focus and make sure that that flower head is perfectly in focus, f16. And with the daisy being such a small flower, f16 again only just puts the, the majority of that inner uh, flower head uh, in focus. And then we've cropped the processed image, putting that flower head in the lower left hand thirds of the image. In this shot I tried something uh, different, I was trying to combine the two flowers together and on camera it looked okay but when I came to processing the image I, I noticed that there was a um, sort of black area underneath that first daisy where there was a gap in the petals and uh, on reflection that uh, dark area is a bit of a distraction to the image so that that really didn't work okay with the the shades and the shadows in this uh, the white flower sort of gave an opportunity to uh, convert to, to black and white so when it came to processing um, I did convert the image to black and white which uh, gave us some uh, nice shades of grey in the in the finished uh, image. Uh, 
Um, another comparison of apertures, so f16, quite a distraction in the upper part of the picture where you've got that purple uh, segment and uh, even after processing f16 that segment was still there causing a distraction. Uh, when we change to 3.5 that softened the image and managed to reduce that uh, distraction in the upper part of the picture. All these images uh, have been cropped and the size of the sensor and the detail it captures really does allow you to, to crop the image down. Um, so this next one is virtually uh, a pano crop uh, when you see the results. So F16 uh, in this and we're, we're slightly in processing we do slightly change the angle of the shot. But the detail um, that a 36 megapixel camera can capture it is amazing and that's the reason it allows you to crop uh, so tight into the picture. Just look at the detail, just look at the, I like the way in this shot how the yellow um, parts of the flower contrast with the pinks. I'm not a fan of focus stacking, but I did uh, focus stack the next image. So we focused on the uh, front uh, daisy and the second daisy behind. And also on, I did try to focus on the, the top right hand daisy, but um, and the end result was okay. I did get um, quite a detailed image once the post processing was done. And I still got some nice blur in the background. I now move the light in and put the, the light in uh, to the right underneath this flower. I was using one LED light to illuminate all these flowers and this gave uh, an inner glow to this flower, particularly when I used uh, f3.8. Okay, we've had the flowers for about a week, so I think I'm brave enough now to start to dissect them. So uh, we got this vase and uh, took uh, a daisy head, popped that in the top of the vase, and then uh, set up the camera so we was facing directly down, looking down on the actual daisy head and the vase itself. Um, I did have to change the lighting a little bit here because a single light did um, cast a shadow over the vase and I didn't want that shadow so I did put a second LED light from the right hand side and that balanced the light out and allowed me to take the shot I wanted. And after post processing we ended up with this very um, abstract view of the daisy in the vase. And just for fun, I changed the uh, colours in uh, Lightroom, made the, the daisy head pink and made the vase green. Okay, using this uh, clamp stand, which you can get from Amazon, um, I tried this composition. Uh, I had tried this composition in the, in, whilst the flowers were in the vase and it didn't work. So I was hoping this was going to work a lot better. Um, and on back of camera it looked okay, but when I um, got into the processing stage uh, I wasn't so happy uh, with the end results. I think a black background would have suited this shot uh, much better. But here's the process results and, and again I did change the uh, colours. Uh, I played around with the colours in, in Lightroom just to get a different uh, finish uh, to the shot. In this next one we merged uh, two flowers together, so we've got the daisy sitting in the middle of the, the white flower. Sorry I don't know flower names, but uh, I, know, I know what a daisy looks like, um, just. So um, this shot we've got the, the daisy sort of nestling 
in the petals of the other flower, creating a nice, soft, gentle image. And in this one, we've positioned it uh, in the rule of thirds, top left hand corner. And a bit of a side view. But the narrow depth of field on this with a low aperture, 3.5, gives that dreamy shot again. So in this one, I'd uh, pulled some petals out and was trying to use the petals as a leading line into the image. And again, it seemed to work on camera. But when I came to process this, uh, I didn't think the light was quite right in this. I needed to probably play around with the light a little bit more to get it better. Whoa, and then Mother's Day arrived and uh, some more flowers appeared. And so I took the opportunity to do a little bit more of uh, macro photography. Uh, and these flowers were much more colourful than the, the bunch I bought. And so again, I started to take compositions with the flowers in the vase. I didn't dissect these. Uh, I think I would have been uh, severely um, slapped for dissecting Mother's Day flowers. Um, but the roses really turned out to be uh, the, the best uh, flower in all, all the ones that I've taken. The, the structure of the petals, the curvature of the petals really made some nice uh, compositions. Okay, I did take some more compositions in this shoot, so uh, we're going to finish off the, the video with those compositions with some nice, relaxing music. <laughs> 